This video is about how to create your travel agency business plan, and I'm Joni Ogg. Creating a business plan is essential to the success of your business. However, you must avoid falling into the trap of using typical business plan software. These programs are designed for developing complex business plans for the purpose of attracting investors or lenders. And unless this is your focus, opt for a simpler, less complex solution that will meet your needs. Remember that the objective of your business plan is to guide you towards success, and it should be created specifically for your business. There is no generic business plan that will accomplish this for you. So forget about making a formal business plan and instead make one that fits your business and your business objectives. Now here's how to do it. The very first thing you should accomplish is to create your business statement. Without this, it is going to be very difficult to create a business plan. And your business statement should be a very concise statement defining what your business is. I specialize in taking groups to Bali, Indonesia on buying trips is an example of a business statement. As is, I specialize in selling Hawaii SUP and yoga retreats. You can see that it doesn't have to be elaborate, just concise. Now let's start with the five W's. Who, what, when, where, and why. Let's start with who. Who is going to be your primary market? In the case of selling SUP and yoga retreats to Hawaii, you can clearly define where you might reach potential clients. Who are going to be your primary supplier partners? Taking the SUP and yoga retreats to Hawaii example, you should be able to identify tour operators, resorts, and other suppliers that are likely to be able to make your niche happen. And who is going to be your host agency? Once you have completed your business plan, you will clearly understand what to look for in a host agency. One that has strong relationships in Hawaii would be very attractive in the example that we're using here. And who will be your marketing partners? Obviously, yoga instructors, SUP sales and rental shops, SUP instructors and health product retailers would all make potential partners in a marketing effort. And be specific regarding these ideas and you will end up with a very narrow list of potential individuals and entities that you can reach out to in a logical and forthright manner. Now let's move to the question of what. What are you going to market? Is it going to be escorted SUP and yoga retreats? Selling into SUP and yoga supplier groups? You should be able to nail down exactly what it is that you're going to bring to market. What is the internal yield commission generated by each transaction? You should be able to guesstimate the yield performance of your business long before you start out. The yield of your business is what is going to drive its success. Just remember, the more complex, the higher the yield. What income do you want to make? Your business plan should result in your income objective, and to do that, your yield, productivity, and expenses need to come together so that you can generate your desired income. What is your startup cost and your monthly overhead going to be? While it may be difficult to project when just starting out, you should try to budget your startup costs and monthly overhead as best that you can. After your first month's income statement is generated, you will have the opportunity to manage these expenses to keep them in concert with your overall financial plan. And while you don't need to generate a cash flow analysis and a five-year financial projection, you do need to understand the economic realities of your business and how viable it is regarding fulfilling your income objectives. Now let's talk about when. When are you going to start your business? Well, it makes sense that your business plan should start on a certain date. Don't let the timing control your decisions to engage your business. And when will you measure your progress towards your financial objectives? Your business plan should set aside time to stay on top of your financial progress as your business gains traction. A monthly cash on cash income statement is the best way to understand where your business is and where it's heading, and you should schedule this to happen. And when will you commence your educational and experiential activity? One of the easiest things to do when starting a business is to overlook investing in the education that you need to operate your business and the experience you need to develop your niche expertise. You should both budget and schedule time to make these happen. Creating a timeline is the best way to make sure all of these things happen. You can schedule time for training, experiences, financial statements, and everything else. 
Like with all schedules, they only work if you stick to them. So be realistic when creating your timeline. Now we get to the question where. Where are you going to operate your business from? This is a critical element that you need to think all the way through. Sure, you may know that you will be home-based, but where in your home? And what infrastructure do you have and need? Running an efficient business requires all of the tools to do so. Where are you going to get your education from? If supplier certification training is on the horizon, which certifications and suppliers and in what order? You should add these to your timeline in their order of importance. And where are you going to get your experience? If you intend on becoming a river cruise specialist, you can become educated about the various lines by taking their certification courses. But to become knowledgeable, you need to know their products firsthand. Which lines and which vessels are you going to focus on? And when are you going to take these cruises? Where are you going to find your clients? We already discussed who will be your clients. Now we need to understand where we're going to find them so we can market to them. Now we get the difficult question of why. Why will clients book with you rather than someone else? This one question deserves your most introspective thinking. You should discern why clients will choose to book their vacations with you rather than anyone else. It could be based on your many different things, but you should completely understand this aspect of your business. This also is the very basis of your UVP or unique value proposition statement. And why will suppliers want to work with you? You should also develop a UVP for suppliers so that you can share the benefits a supplier might expect by developing a relationship with you. And why will a host agency want to work with you? Finding a host agency isn't a one-way street. When you interview the host, they are also interviewing you. You should understand and be able to communicate why a host would want to add you to their network. And why is your UVP compelling to potential clients? This is really why your business plan will lead you to success. Your UVP should appeal to sophisticated travelers who seek the counsel of an expert, and your UVP should shout that benefit. So now let's take all of these answers and build your business plan. First, reduce the responses to these questions to one or two sentences that are concise and focused. Remember this is your business plan and no one else's. Just focus on the most important facts and document them in as few words as possible. And then list the most important elements of your plan in logical order. Establish a timeline for action. Take these elements and create a 12 month or 52 week timeline and allocate the various elements you have identified to a specific date. Remember, do not get caught up on too many details. Just list the most important. Once you have your timeline finished and your business plan established for your first year, be sure to schedule time, say an hour every month, for the sole purpose of reviewing your business plan and modifying it as you go. And don't forget to prepare monthly income statements prior to your business plan review. This is going to help you find weak areas you may want to remove and strong areas you may want to increase your focus on. Monthly income statements and reviews are the only way to stay on top of your business and achieve your eventual income objective. So let's go over the most important points. Your business plan will guide you to success. Develop your business statement and then use the five W's to build your business plan. And then develop your timeline, review your plan, and prepare monthly income statements. If you modify your plan each and every month based on your timeline and financial reality, you'll be surprised at just how quickly your idea can become a vibrant and successful business. We hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a travel agency business plan. And for more tutorials, be sure to visit www.homebasedtravelagent.com. And if you liked this tutorial, give it a like and a share. And thanks so much for being with us today.